What is up guys? This is a tiny video where we will just talk about what is PyTorch, TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, Tensorati and Onyx. Now, if you've worked with any of the AI models, you would definitely know what is PyTorch or TensorFlow. Or in fact, at this point, if you're an engineer, you will possibly know what is TensorFlow or PyTorch. You've heard of that at least in passing. But if you work with embedded AI, then you must have come across the words TensorFlow Lite, uh, Tensorati or Onyx. So this video is just me talking about these ideas. We will not build anything in this video, that's for future videos. But I just want to talk about how these models relate to each other. And especially if you're working in the domain of embedded AI, then stuff like TensorRTE, Onyx, TensorFlow Lite is super important. So let's quickly understand the ideas behind these words. First, PyTorch. PyTorch was Facebook's open source machine learning framework. It was popularized for academia and research, but it is now heavily used in the industry as well. It is used to build deep learning models in NLP, computer vision, and so on and so forth. So this is an easy idea because I'm sure all of you know more about it, so I'm not gonna go into the details of PyTorch. Same with TensorFlow. TensorFlow is an open source machine learning framework originally created by the Google Brain team. Now, we've just covered PyTorch and TensorFlow. As I said, I just wanted to touch these two. Let's move on to TensorFlow Lite. TensorFlow Lite is an open source model framework for on-device inference in the TensorFlow ecosystem. For on-device or embedded inference, you typically need a model that is smaller and has lower latency than your standard TensorFlow model. So TensorFlow Lite is basically a format that allows you to convert your neural network into a format that is lightweight and it works faster in mobile or embedded devices. The next one is TensorRTI. TensorRTI is a machine learning framework from NVIDIA for their embedded devices. So NVIDIA based embedded devices and GPUs. And thus TensorRTI is highly optimized to run on NVIDIA GPUs. For instance, if you have an NVIDIA board, let's say an NVIDIA Jetson board, and you want to use the model you have on the board, then you typically end up converting whatever model you have into a TensorRTI engine model or a TensorRTI model that runs specifically on NVIDIA boards, and this TensorRTI model is faster. This is really common in robotics products and projects. The last concept we cover in this video is Onyx, and this is really important. Now, we've talked about different models up until now, PyTorch, TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, TensorRTI. Now to bridge all of this, Onyx is an intermediary machine learning framework used to convert between different machine learning frameworks. So you can go from PyTorch to an intermediate Onyx representation and then to whichever model you want. The primary goal of this Onyx standard is to enable interoperability between different kinds of models or different frameworks. This allows model train in one framework to be used in another without the need of any extensive retraining or coding again and again. This means you can go from one model, let's say PyTorch, to another model, TensorRTI or TF Lite or even TensorFlow. And of course, you can do the same with any other model. Let's say you want to go from PyTorch to TF Lite. So you start from your PyTorch model, get your Onyx model, which is an intermediate representation, and from there you go to TF Lite. So you can start from whatever framework and go to whatever framework using Onyx. That's why Onyx is used extensively in the industry now. So that's all about PyTorch, TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, TensorRTI, and Onyx. If you're working with embedded AI or embedded robotics, I'm sure you know about TensorRTI or Onyx, but in general, I hope this video gave people who didn't know about these concepts a primer to why we have these different frameworks and different kinds of models in the industry. So this was, again, a quick video. We will talk more about this in the future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.